guys welcome back to my channel it's becky how are we doing today i hope we're all good so guys woo, tomorrow's a big day tomorrow is like the day i fly out for my surgery and honestly i just can't even i can't even fathom that it's already here yet like how is like how is it already here so um all week i have been completely stressing out i've just been going completely crazy i have been so busy i've had so much to do i have been studying i've been working i've been packing i've been oh my brain is fried so i can't believe it's finally here so guys i'm currently in the middle of packing i'm gonna be um yeah just vlogging bits of my time away and i am on my camera phone hence why um I might be a bit shaky at times and yeah i look kind of like i look strange in my camera phone i don't know why i don't like it but yes um i'm gonna be using my phone just to film bits of this trip um and yeah i'm glad that you're all here to join me along the journey so this is what i've packed so far i still have a little bit of bits and bobs to do excuse the mess of my bedroom i have stuff everywhere but um got all like the necessities got my hormones here got everything else um and yeah that's about it to be honest hey guys so today is the day um I literally wouldn't be lying if I said I'm really nervous and really scared. Um, I'm like going through all sorts of emotions right now. It's 5.30 in the morning. My best friend's taking me to the airport. So um, I'm just going to wait for him to come and collect me. Um, but yeah, I'm just currently about to get ready. Um, and yeah, it just feels like I just feel really overwhelmed this morning. But, like, I need to remember that this is something I've been waiting for for literally, like, 10 years. Almost 10 years. Um, and, yeah, the day is finally here where I can, like, begin this new adventure of mine. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Hey, guys. So, I'm on my way to the airport now. Oh, I can't believe the day is finally here. Stop it, gonna cry again. <laughs> Best friend's driving me. Um, I feel like really overwhelmed, but I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I just have like a mixture of emotions right now, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Okay guys, so at the airport now, I can't even like switch, you can't even switch the camera on this thing, can you? Can you not? No. Oh, it's just there. It's my bestie. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what time is it? It's 7.35. 7.35? It yeah. Okay. So my morning. flight is at 10. Um, I think the gate closes at like 9.30. So we're on like, we're on a good schedule at the moment. Yeah. So yeah, what I've got to do is just, Put my luggage in and go through security and we're done basically okay so i'm all on my own now just went through security um now i'm alone i feel even more nervous but um yeah got like all my stuff everything's been checked in and now it's just for that dreaded flight <laughs> i just hate flying i get so nervous so um, I'm actually more worried about the flight than anything else, as I said earlier, but <sighs> just remembering to breathe and just be calm because that's the only thing I can do right now. They made me take my laptop out of my suitcase too, guys, so I have like a massive laptop taking out of my small handbag. That's great, but it's okay.
guys. So, whew, um, I haven't been able to film anything literally since I got off the plane. But um, it is dark here now. And I've literally only just got into my hotel room. Um, it is, I think, like, just gone past, like, 9 p.m. We're, like, three hours ahead of the UK. Um, but literally, I've just had my consultation with the surgeon. I've had my pre-op tests. Uh, I've had COVID tests. I've had, like, a chest scan. Um, and, yeah, my surgery is tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So I'm being picked up tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. They've been, like, so nice here so far. I'm, like, really overwhelmed. But I'm okay. Um, I'm still really looking forward to my surgery tomorrow. I just think I need to just chill out, eat something, kind of, like, settle in a bit and... I'll be fine, but yeah, I'll keep you guys all updated tomorrow. Guys, oh my God, I've literally just discovered this, but I got a mini fridge full of like water and iced tea and everything, like what? I literally didn't even know this was in here. This is the first hotel I've ever been in that actually has a mini fridge. Like what? I cannot wait to like come and just demolish all these iced teas after I have my surgery. Damn, can't wait. Hi guys, so it is the morning of my surgery. Um, I'm currently just getting some things together for my hospital stay. I'm literally just packing like a small bag. Um, yeah, I had no sleep last night. I probably slept like maybe two hours properly. I was just up like tossing and turning. I don't know why, I think I've just yeah just letting nerves get to me and stuff um and i just kept thinking about the surgery like all night so i had like no sleep but i actually can't wait to be put under anesthetic because i want to be able to sleep um i feel like a little sick this morning not gonna lie but yeah i've just chopped on some joggers and a jumper just waiting to get picked up now and yeah i will see you guys in a bit also guys i don't think i ever showed you my hotel room i'm just going to show you briefly everything so here is outside we are right next to the beach the beach is like over there but i'm too cold to go out for some reason there's me hi uh there's my bathroom so that's like okay it's cozy um yeah it's just like a cute little simple room but yeah it's it will do for the week i guess but yeah see you later so this is on my balcony it is so beautiful i didn't even get to see this beach yesterday because it was so dark surgery now I am just in the worst pain I have literally ever been in but I'm on a morphine drip and it is helping lots um but yeah wow the pain is real I really didn't think it would be this painful but I was wrong <laughs> but um I think everything went well I'm gonna talk to my surgeon later um yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little update and that I'm okay, I'm in my room. And yeah, I'm just recovering now. Hey guys, so I'm back. Finally back to my hotel room after being in the hospital. My God, I'm in so much pain, but I feel like so happy too. I can't lift my phone up too high because it's very painful, but I'm just glad to be back. I'm gonna put on Netflix gonna have some snacks just gonna chill um the whole team here have just been so great they've really been looking after me so you know they've just been like super helpful and super nice and it's just all i can ask for really but yeah i'm glad to be in my hotel room hopefully after i take some pain meds i'm gonna feel a lot better and i know i look like shit right now so please don't judge me because i've not been able to brush my hair or anything but just really hurts here. I've got everything like underneath. But yeah, just very, very painful right now. 
Yeah, they put in um, four to five cc's. So if you're familiar with breast implant sizes, that's what they put in. And they put in silicone implants. So yeah, that's what they did. So the actual procedure I had done, guys, was I had breast implants in and then I also had a, like, a little lift as well because my breasts were like really saggy and like my nipples were like really big. It was like TMI right there, but um, I wanted them to be made smaller and stuff. So he, um, so my surgeon did a little lift and put implants in and did like a little nipple lift, which makes the nipples smaller. Um, and yeah, that's all he done. So I think that's why I'm in like even more pain because I can literally feel like where he cut, if you know what I mean. Like that's like how I can describe my pain too. I can literally feel like where he cut. Um, so yeah, I think that's why I'm in like more pain. But yeah, oh, it is tough guys. And I'm in so much pain. But yeah, the whole team here have been so great guys. Honestly, I had a nurse literally stay with me all night. She slept in the same room as me she was there to like spoon feed me she was just amazing they've just all been so helpful so great here um, i had my driver like go to the shop for me and buy me loads of snacks and drinks and stuff they just really looked after me here and i'm so thankful for that um but yeah i'm just gonna rest for a few days now and just hopefully heal up a bit and yeah i'll be okay hi guys so today is monday this is the um first day back after coming back to my hotel yesterday from surgery um i feel so much better today i really feel like i'm a little bit more mobile i feel a lot more better i'm still in pain obviously um it's more like when i'm like lying down and getting back up um that's when it's quite painful and then when I'm walking around and stuff too. I'm just gonna have another chilled out day today, I think. Um, just gonna chill out on my laptop and go on Netflix and stuff. Um, I might try and go out tomorrow because it'd be nice to go for a walk or something while I'm here. Um, but yeah, I'll just see how I feel, I guess. And yeah, I'll keep you guys all updated. First day out walking today. Today is Tuesday. Oh, I'm feeling so much better today. I thought I'd actually go out and get some fresh air because I've been cooped up in my hotel room for like the past couple of days. So oh, it feels good to be out and actually breathe some air. So yeah, feeling really good. I'm still obviously like very sore, very tender and stuff. So I am just taking it slow, but it just feels so nice to be outside beautiful hair. It's so pretty. I love it. so it's Wednesday um, feel lots better today I'm getting better every day um, the past couple of days I've been like feeling the top of my breasts and oh my god I literally absolutely love them I'm so happy with them um, I'm gonna see if I can maybe just show you the top bit just so you can see the shape of it um, I have my post-op consultation tomorrow as well where my surgeon will take all of this off and we'll have a proper look um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that tomorrow. So you can kind of see my new breasts here. That is the shape of them. Oh my god. <laughs> I just love them, literally. I love them so much. I haven't even seen them properly yet, but I literally absolutely love them. Just the shape of them and everything is just, oh, it's to die for. But yeah, I'm so excited for my post-op tomorrow. And then it's home time Friday. So yes, not gonna lie, I really miss home. So I'll be happy to go back home. But yeah, it's been great here though. Like I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> So guys, today is Thursday. Today is my full last day here in Antalya actually. And 
the day of my postdoc consultation too. So I'm really, really excited to see the final result of my boobs. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to see them later. Um, I'm kind of glad like it's basically home time now. Um, I really do miss home. I really miss my home comforts. I really miss my family and, and just, you know, being in an environment where I know where I am and stuff. So I do really miss home. Um, but yeah, I will keep you guys all updated. I'll let you know how the postdoc consultation goes. And yeah, I'll see you later. Hi everyone, so I thought I would just do a quick follow-up video. Um, please excuse my no makeup face and like messy hair. I've literally just come out of the shower. Um, but I thought I'd do a little follow-up video as I've had my post-op consultation today and oh my god guys I was so scared but like when he was taking the bandages off I was like freaking out I was like oh my god but then when I looked in the mirror guys I literally almost cried because they just look amazing I was like thanking him so much I was like oh my god thank you so much because they honestly just look oh my god they just look so good um I have like no sensation in my nipples obviously because um I had a little lift so um when he was like cleaning up the area I couldn't like feel anything in my nipples but he said it would take a good couple months until that starts to come back um so yeah anyway let me just show you quickly just a little little sneak peek of my boobies but yeah you can kind of see what they look like see if I can show this side but yeah I'm just like so amazed guys literally they look amazing I'll see if I can just lower this one a little bit but yeah there we go they just look amazing yeah I'm just so happy with them but yeah I like oh I'm just so in love with them guys. I do also have like a lot of sticky stuff here from where the bandages were kept on. Um, so when I get home, I'm gonna really try and scrub it off with a flannel or something. Um, as I don't really have anything here to scrub it off with, but I'm hoping it will just dry up and just kind of come off anyway. Yes, tomorrow is home time. So happy to be going home tomorrow. But yeah, I'll do one last video before then. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's Friday, it's home time. Oh, I'm so happy to be flying home today. I have missed home so much, honestly, I really have. So I'm so happy to be flying home today. So this is my last day in Antalya. It has been amazing and it's so beautiful too. Um, I got a little bit of bad news last night though. So my airline emailed me saying that my flight's been delayed so we were due to leave at around six o'clock and now we're leaving at literally like 20 past 10 so yeah that's gonna be amazing 20 past 10 at night so i won't be home till like midnight tonight which is a little bit annoying so um i'll literally just have to like hang at the airport for quite a, a long time to be honest so i'll probably just be having some drinks do some duty-free shopping you know but it's okay, at least it's home time and I'm happy about that. So um, yeah, I am just thankful that today is my last day. Um, so yeah guys, I'm probably gonna wrap up the boob job vlog here. Um, I wanna say thanks to everyone for joining me on this journey. Thanks for all of your support and all of your love and just thank you for everything guys. You know, everything that you've done just means so much to me and I honestly appreciate everything so thank you so much guys i will probably see you all in my next vlog whenever that may be um but yeah see you soon guys bye